Ready, go. Go. Ready, go. So essentially, your swing, you're pulling the club down quite a bit in yeah. the downswing. So it's uh, fairly arm driven. And then uh, and the down, as we saw, it's coming down this way here. Yeah. Now, in order to, uh, so, so today, let's, let's have a two, uh, two, purpose, uh, two uh, goals here. <coughs> one, we need to adjust the direction of the plane. Yeah. And another one, use the body a bit more and start the motion with the body so you don't have to do this yeah, yeah. and then more body driven swing and then simply let, let it go yeah, yeah. and then the best way to fix this is using a rope so swing the stay on the on the mats swing the rope okay. around your body continuously okay. back and forth okay. now here the goal is to move the end of the rope around your body fast okay. it's not about your body motion okay. and uh, because this is flexible you cannot manipulate it with the hand yeah. motion. Okay. So if uh, unless you guide it cor correctly, then the rope will go wrong direction. Okay. And again, the goal, the main goal is to move the end of the rope fast around your body, cut down any unnecessary movement. Your goal is swing the rope fast. What? What? Um, so some people, what when when they can't do that, what are they? What, what are they doing? So if uh, you are moving your body more here, so you want to go certain body postures that you don't pay attention to the rope, yeah. then the rope goes, uh, you know, not the way you want. So it's important to communicate with the rope all the time. That yeah. means you have to have a sensory, uh, you know, input yeah. from the hands so that you know where the rope is. Yeah. So for that, you have to maintain good tension. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's see uh, how, you, how you do this naturally. So uh, go ahead. Swing back and forth. Okay. You see, so uh, oh, for continuous, continuous, okay. continuous motion. Yeah. I want to see a continuous motion. So you see already what, what's happening is uh, you're lifting the arms here. Mm. On, the, on the way it's a slow, uh, you just uh, try to lift your arms instead of paying attention to what happens to the rope. Mm, okay. Your goal is to move the rope, end of the rope around your body, not lifting your arms. And also, on the down, try to swing hard with the arms. Okay. But again, pay attention to the motion of the end of the rope. This is so part of your body. So instead of this, like... So, yeah. Okay. yeah. The goal is to move the end of the rope around the body. This, yes. like this is part of your body, so you have one more segment. Okay. Now your goal is to move this thing around the body instead of moving the hands. Go for it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're putting a lot of effort in the downswing, but you don't have to do that for the moment. Okay. Now watch me doing this. And then you have to understand the difference between my motion and your motion here. Okay? Yeah. So in my motion, I don't put a lot of effort, okay. but I generate good speed of the rope yeah, yeah. because my goal is to move the rope around. Okay. So everything should be timed to promote the rope motion. <laughs> so a good way to do this is this, you have to feel the rope motion. So for example, if you do something like this, you have to match the time, right? If your body goes ahead of the rope, then this happens. Yeah. But if you want to match everything to the rope motion, mm, 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 mm. And also when you try to move the rope actively yeah. without using the arms a lot, by using a little bit of a rhythmic motion of the body, you can do this because you maintain good tension here. Yeah, okay. So the same thing. As you turn around, always the goal is to maintain good tension here. You should be able to feel the tension okay. in, the, in the rope. Yeah. So throw the rope around your body, making a large arc here. Okay. Instead of just quickly bring your arms, your hands here, let it go around here. So your goal is to move the end of the rope. Okay. And so. Okay. And so make it faster in the back. Make yeah. it faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, back should be faster, faster. Yes, faster. 
But now, here we have two goals yeah. in the rope swing. One, develop consistent swing plane, yeah, yeah. both ways. Okay. So you have to move the rope along the same plane back and forth. Mm -hmm. Second, you have to give enough time in the transition. Got it. Okay. But if you lift your arms and then try to pull it down, then the timing is dictated by this arm action here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you have uh, this adrenaline uh, you know, pumping up, then <coughs> more quickly. Yeah. So instead, always in both the directions, have the image of throwing the rope out, okay. throwing the, uh, the rope out. Throw. So here, when you have enough throwing action here, throw the, the rope automatically goes here. Okay. So bring the end of the rope here. Your goal is. And then once it's there, then you whip it around. Yeah. So pay attention to the, end, the motion of the end of the rope, and your goal is to bring the end of the rope here. Okay. And then, in order to do that, you have to keep enough speed all the way. Okay. Slow that. Mm. Yes. Oh, the back should be faster. Back oh. should be faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So currently, currently what I see is that your backswing uh, path is a uh, steep, downswing path is uh, too yeah, flat. That's why it's funny how it yeah. will so you have to maintain the same both ways. Okay. So try to decrease the difference between the backswing uh, path and the downswing path. So make it consistent both ways. Yes, it's getting better. Yeah. But still, you try to put too much effort in the downswing. So for the moment, you don't have to put that much effort in the downswing, but increase actually the speed in the backswing. Okay. When you have a faster backswing, the rope cannot go anywhere. Mm. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. just throw, then it will go around here. Right. So your goal is to throw the end of the rope and then put it here. Okay. And also throw the end of the rope, throw the end of the rope, throw, throw. Yeah, two throws both ways. Two throws. Mm. And your goal is again to move the end of the rope, not about your body. Sorry. Feel, feel, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. A bit faster back swing and then throw, yes. Exactly. Mm. Now you, are, you started communicating with the rope. Yeah, yeah. It's always a a important to maintain the communication. Mm -hmm. That means you have to use the sensory <laughs> input from your hands and then you have to control the rope motion. So it's different, it, you can feel the mm. wobbling. So instead of just a pull and then turn your body like this, rather yeah. your goal is to throw the rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see, now you, you know how to, yeah, how yeah, to yeah. talk to uh, yeah, yeah. the rope. <laughs> So the best way to talk to the rope is maintain good uh, tension here. Okay. That you can always influence the rope motion. Yeah, it's fine. It's like you really have to mm -hmm. feel it. Like so in the back swing, your goal is not to go to certain body posture, but bring the end of the rope around your body and have a good wind. Yeah, yeah. So now when you put good effort in the downswing, it shouldn't come from your arm action here, but it should come from your good wind up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in order to throw good here, Mm, good wind up and then let it go. Good wind up and then let it go. Yeah, yeah. As you throw the rope in the back swing, with that have a good wind up of the body, so good coiling, yeah. and then using the unwinding of the body and then let it go. Yeah. Instead of using the arms. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in order to create good wind up in the back swing, you have to use your right leg, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, active, active motion in the back swing coming from the right leg action. Yeah, yeah. So. Mm. Yeah, now you feel the motion of the rope a lot better. Yeah. Then the same thing happens to the club swing. When you swing, you know, it's not about your body motion. Ultimately, you want to generate good club motion, right? Yeah, yeah. Then you can time everything with the club motion and promote good club motion. Mm -hmm.
And then with this, naturally, you're moving your body more. So let me record uh, your swing from here. You don't have to put that much effort in the downswing. Okay. So, so maybe go to about 80%. Okay. But always pay attention to the active backswing. Go active backswing. Mm. So increase the effort in the backswing, but you can reduce the effort in the downswing. If you have active backswing, your downswing will automatically become active. So you don't have to put a lot of effort. But if your backswing is slow, and then you try to put a lot of effort in the downswing, that it all comes from the arms. Okay. So continue swing. Ready, go. Go easy, but uh, put more effort in the backswing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Now your body moves more, yeah. particularly if you look at the shoulder motion. Earlier when we looked at data, your shoulder stopped because you, you're using the arms here. Now, toward the end of the back swing, see how your shoulders move. Oh, go easy, but uh, put more effort in the back swing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so once you start, mm. yeah, the shoulders yeah. moving more. It's more shoulder driven swing now. That's so interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Initially, when you try to lift it up, up then you had arms, but as you repeat the motion, it becomes more shoulder driven. Yeah, yeah. So your arms are supposed to go back here because you, all you want to do is just throw the rope and then the arms are here. And then from there, shoulder turn and then let it go. It's funny how you throw it, but then you have to wait for it. And then yeah, you go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so uh, if you have an active throw here, then with that you have an active deceleration here. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean you try to fight the yeah, curve. Yeah. Let it go all the way with a nice deceleration. With that, you have a good wind up. And from there, throw yeah. instead of. Yeah, because then the rope would go. Now, let me record from here. So and also as you do this, always have a rhythmic motion here. So using the legs a little bit, and then have a little bit of the feel of uh, vertical motion, and then kick, 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 kick. So the whole timing is dictated by the leg actions, yeah. not no, but okay. this. Okay, ready, go, continue swing, rhythmic motion. Mm hmm Yes. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> now, how, see how consistent the swing plane is. <laughs> Go, continue swing. Rhythmic motion. Mm hmm Yes. Yes. <laughs> Now the swing plane is really consistent. Yeah, really. Earlier it was like a go up and then going yeah, yeah, yeah. in. <laughs> because now you start uh, working with the rope. What is it? It's just the fact that it's... This is 30 quarter inch double braid nylon rope. Okay. Yeah, it's a seven feet long. But in your case, it can be a bit longer. But I, I think this is okay for you. Okay. This is yours. Take it with you. you sure? Mm -hmm. oh, cool. I always give away the ropes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So uh, again, <laughs> As you repeat this rope swing, yeah. then the important thing is you should be able to feel uh, it's a more comfortable and natural motion. Yeah. So it's not a manufactured motion. Yeah, yeah. Particularly when you pay attention to motion at the end of the rope, your goal is to just give good motion to the rope here. Then your body motion becomes really clean yeah, yeah. because you will be able to get rid of all the unnecessary movement yeah, yeah, yeah. because your goal is to promote a good rope motion right yeah, yeah, yeah. and then if you want to increase the effort so swing this way and then so that's why that's why i uh, ask you to uh, use the body so yeah, when yeah. you want to increase the effort that is coming from the low body it's so interesting but mm. you have to get, you know, get a swing on such fast yep so again Use the body, low body, to promote good motion there. Mm -hmm. So
So if you want to swing, you swing it hard, then it has to come from the leg action. Okay. So imagine you have a heavy back of uh, cement or something. Yeah. You're holding it, try to load it to uh, the back of the truck. You're not using the arms to do that. Yeah. If it's heavy, then you use the whole legs, the whole body to throw. The same idea. So when you want to increase the effort, it has to come from your lower body. So keep good, wind up, and let it go. Press the back swing, wind up, let it go. Wind up, let it go. Now, so in the downswing. Now the effort is more coming from the body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know to swing hard in the downswing, mm -hmm. just to keep uh, active backswing yeah. in the wind. Yeah. That way you are automatically connecting the backswing to downswing. Your transition sequence improves automatically. Mm -hmm. And also, you know to have a good wind up here, you have to use your right leg more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Yeah. yeah. So the rope swing is really, really good. Okay. Um, I know some people use the ropes, but. Uh, not to the level I use. Yeah, 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 yeah. I use the rope a lot. And then, in most cases, I just uh, induce good movement pattern by using the rope first, and then go to the club. When did you start using the rope? Um, the, let's see, uh, it's been maybe about 10 years. Mm, okay. So this is not my idea. I, I saw uh, a friend of mine using this. Yeah, uh, his name is Rob Holding. Uh, he's uh, based oh, in uh, yeah, Vancouver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw him uh, using the rope. Yeah, like, like, yeah. But then, uh, you know, I immediately knew that, that because the rope is flexible, yeah. so you cannot manipulate. Yeah. That this may be a good way to actually shape the body motion. Yeah, because it exposes it. And then I, I chose this particular rope because uh, because of the weight, and then you know the feel you have, the yeah. size, so that you can uh, easily hold it uh, yeah. in your hand and so on. Once you develop good movement pattern with the rope, then let's go to the club swing here.